I'm Joan Cartan Hansen, and welcome to Science Trek, the web show. And welcome to Boise State University's Sensory Ecology Lab. And joining me today to answer your questions about bats are Rita Dixon and Jesse Barber. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. It's great to be here. All right, let's go to your questions. Hi, my name is Riley from Dalton Elementary. My question is, why do bats sleep during the day? Bats sleep during the day because they're busy working all night. So we work all day and we sleep all night and it's the opposite for bats because they're busy finding insects at night and so they need to rest during the day. Hi, my name is Shay and I go to Dalton Elementary and my question is how many different species of bats are in the world? There are more than 1,200 species of bats in the world of, of all different kinds. Those that eat blood and insects and fruit and nectar on every continent except Antarctica. My name is Nicole. I go to Prospect School. My question is why do bats hang upside down? Uh, we think the reason that bats hang upside down is because, because when bats first developed flight they needed to be able to glide. So scientists think that bats originally were roosting in trees and dropped from the trees to be able to fly. And in addition to that, bats uh, hang upside down and up high where they are away from any predators like domestic cats or other animals that eat bats, snakes for example. So it's a way to protect themselves also. And their knees are backwards from us to make it easier for them to hang upside down. Hi, my name is Hector. I go to Shadow Hills Elementary School. And my question is, how good is a bat's echolocation? Okay. Bat echolocation is very sophisticated. They're able to tell a, a small insect um, at great distances from background clutter like leaves and vegetation. But their biosonar, another word for echolocation, can be blocked by insects. Some insects make sounds back at bats when they hear them coming and jam their biosonar. Harrison would like to know, what should we do if we find a bat in our house or on the ground? If you find a bat in your house or on the ground, there are websites that you can go to to see exactly what you should do, but the best thing to do is to be calm and let the open a door, open a window if the bat's inside, and let the bat find its way out. Sometimes if you have a porch light on and open the door, a bat may accidentally just fly in because it's foraging around the light after moths. So it's best to be calm, wait for the bat to land on the floor or on a wall, and carefully, calmly, quietly approach the bat with a small box or a coffee can and put it over the, gently, just put it over the bat and slide like heavy paper between the wall and the bat or the floor and the bat and carefully take the bat outside and let it go. If you find a bat on the ground that looks sick or doesn't appear to be able to fly, then do the same thing in terms of carefully getting the bat in a safe place and then call for help. Hi, I'm Abby from Dalton Elementary, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And my question is, how long do mama bats take care of their babies? Mama bats take care of their babies typically about three to four weeks. And so they are nursing them, and then they wean them, and then they teach the young bats how to forage. Hi, my name is Jana. I go to Spalding Elementary School. And my question is, how far do bats travel in one hour? Some bats fly so fast that they can travel tens of miles in an hour, 30 or 40 miles in an hour. Hi, my name is Riley and I go to Dalton Elementary and my question is, do bats have special kinds of eyes to see in the dark? Yes, bats do have special kinds of eyes, except they're not, it's not so much to see in the dark but they do have what we call nocturnal eyes and their eyes are different than our eyes because it's more important for them to, to illuminate things in the dark than to have greater resolution like our eyes. 
And I'll add to that that many bats have UV vision as well at night, meaning they can see ultraviolet. And this allows them to see flowers at night for bats, for instance, that eat nectar. Hi, my name is Chloe, and I go to Dalton Elementary in Dalton Gardens. And my question is, why do bat pups have no fur? Bat pups have no fur because they're born very early in their development. And part of the reason for this, we think, is that their moms probably teach them a lot as they grow up. And many animals that have a lot to learn are born not very developed. Sam asks, what can we do to protect bats? One of the most important ways we can protect bats is to, when we find bats, leave the bats alone and not handle live bats so you don't get bitten because when you get bitten it means that bat has to die. Other ways we can protect bats is to use fewer pesticides on our food because bats are affected by pesticides and it's, it's very dangerous to them. We also need to survey abandoned mines before closing them so that we don't trap bats. And one of, another really important thing we can do to protect bats is when bats are in buildings, we need to make sure that if, if you don't want the bats living in your attic or your house, that you wait until the pups are grown and can fly before you evict the bats from your home. And other important ways of protecting bats is just to raise your awareness about bats and tell your friends, your family, your teachers that bats are important in the environment. I'm so sorry we've run out of time. My thanks to Rita and Jesse for answering questions. Thank you, it was a pleasure. Thank you. My thanks also to the folks here at Boise State University's Sensory Ecology Lab for hosting us. Now, if you want to learn more about this topic, check out the bat area on the Science Trek website. You'll find facts, links, games, our bat broadcast show, and lots more. And every week, check out my blog for the latest science news for kids, all at idahoptv.org. Thanks for joining us for Science Trek, the web show. Thank you.